Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, teaching the Western Mysteries. The following text is a simplified version of the yet-to-be-published book High Magic in the Western Mystery Tradition by Salomo Balshem. A profound understanding of the planes of existence and the way of their interactions is part of the basic knowledge of a magician. Agrippa von Nettersheim, who was a German polymath, theologian, lawyer, doctor and philosopher, started his work about magic with these words. Seeing there is a threefold world, elementary, celestial and intellectual, and every inferior is governed by its superior, and receiveth the influence of the virtues thereof, so that the very original and chief worker of all doth by angels, the heavens, stars, elements, animals, plants, metals, and stones, convey from himself the virtues of his omnipotency upon us, for whose service he made and created all these things. Wise men conceive it no way irrational that it should be possible for us to ascend by the same degrees through each world to the same very original world itself, the maker of all things and first cause, from whence all things are and proceed, and also to enjoy not only these virtues which are already in the more excellent kind of things, but also besides these, to draw new virtues from above. Hence it is that they seek after the virtues of the elementary world, through the help of physic and natural philosophy and the various mixtures of natural things, then of the celestial world in the rays and influences thereof according to the rules of astrologers and the doctrines of mathematicians joining the celestial virtues to the former. Moreover, they ratify and confirm all these with the powers of diverse intelligences through the sacred ceremonies of religion. The world that is the realm of our experience as mortal beings is divided into three areas. In contemporary occult terminology, these areas have other names, albeit the meaning is still the same. Parable of the Sophias. This image is an illustration of this parable. You can also find it in our free Kabbalah online course, in the section Courses. The lowest of the planes is called the material plane. Imagine earth as it was before dry land existed. The earth which represents the material plane in this analogy is completely covered by water which symbolizes the astral plane. To keep things simple for now we consider the astral plane as the plane of our emotions. Above it we find the mental plane, which symbolizes our conscious or mental world. Above the mental plane we find the spiritual plane, which is, however, beyond our human experience. Following we will have a closer look at the four main planes of existence. What follows is a simplified description. Each of these planes can be further divided into subplanes. Here, however, we want to focus on the main planes. Please keep in mind that this description is only a parable, which, just as any other parable, should not be stretched too much. Nevertheless, this parable is suitable to show and clarify many aspects of occult work. The spiritual plane is represented by warmth and sunlight. In the corresponding reality, it symbolizes the love and guidance of the higher self. 
In the parable, the mental plane is represented as the clear sky that allows a clear view of the sun, or as clouds covering the sun. In the corresponding reality, it refers to a clear mind which understands the higher worlds, or limiting thoughts that conceal the higher realms. The Astral Plane In the parable, it is represented as reflections of the clouds or sun. If the sea is stormy, the image gets distorted. In the corresponding reality, it refers to astral visions of the higher worlds. Imbalanced emotions corrupt the vision. Finally, the material plane. It is represented in the parable as earth and stones, which are shaped by the water. In the corresponding reality, the material world is formed according to astral patterns. The order of the elements in this parable, fire, air, water and earth, corresponds to the order which we also find in the works of Aristotle. Another important order of the elements is found in the temple, air, fire, water and earth. And yet another one is found in the tarot, fire, water, air and earth. The students of the magical arts should develop an understanding as early as possible to the fact that there are different correspondences and orders of the elements, planets and other principles which are suited for different purposes. He should train his mind to be flexible enough to be able to apply these correspondences easily and adequately in every possible case. At the same time, he should have the structured and clear mind which is required to know why, in any given situation, one set of correspondences is suitable while another is not. More information about the nature of the human soul can also be found in the book Kabbalistic Magic, Chapter 5 by Salomo Balshem. With this knowledge of the four planes of existence and the human soul, we can reach our goals more easily because we can direct our actions in life much better. When we bear in mind that the higher plane always influences the lower plane, we are not only the master of our magical work, but also of all areas of life. If you want to deepen your knowledge of the four planes of the human soul, visit our free online course on Kabbalah and on the Western Mysteries.